The possible misery of helpless people gives me more concern than any other trouble that this depression has brought upon us. In the Roaring Twenties, steady economic growth had ushered in an era of unprecedented prosperity. Business boomed, profits soared, new consumer goods poured out of the nation's factories. Then, on October 29, 1929, Black Tuesday, stock prices on Wall Street plummeted, erasing in a day more than $14 billion in assets. The Great Depression was descending upon the land, bringing hard times and suffocating hope. A record number of businesses failed. Bank closing spread like wildfire. Across the country, more than one in four workers was unemployed. Shack cities, nicknamed Hoovervilles, and bread lines, long lines of hungry people waiting outside charity institutions for bread or a bowl of soup, sprang up in communities across the nation. Farm foreclosures were running at nearly 20,000 a month, and everywhere, people took to the road looking for work. Republican President Herbert Hoover tried to combat the Depression, but he believed in limited government and economic relief through private charity. He was reluctant to fund massive public works projects and other stimulative measures. How different from four years before. The optimism of the 20s had given way to despair as more and more people lost their jobs, their savings, and their homes. This nation is asking for action, and action now.